Hey everybody, this is Jeremy at Hilt's Machine Works coming back to you again today. And um, you can see in the background of my shop, my wife has been set up this weekend producing her chapped hide salve. You can see that at chappedhidesalve.com. It's a plantain-based uh, skincare product that works really well. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I'm in here with my Farmall Cub and we have run into a problem. I thought it was gonna be just one of those easy days. We're gonna have a snowstorm coming this week, so I've got the cub here with the plow installed, brought it into the shop, figured, well, we'll give her a little tune-up before winter, adjust everything out. <clears throat> Went to adjust the brake on the right-hand side, and as you can see, uh-oh, the threaded rod portion of the brake band rod broke off and now we're in a pickle so what are we gonna do we are going to order a new brake band because I haven't I've never changed this and while we're waiting for the new brake band to come in I need to plow with this in about two days so we are going to cut this rod back cut it right off and I'm gonna take a you're gonna see me use a um, a little belt sander to clean this up and I've got a piece of a small piece of threaded rod and <clears throat> I'm gonna put two nuts together and weld the nuts together and have the threaded rod thread into one of the nuts and then the other nut is gonna slide over this rod and we're gonna weld it around this rod to replace this section so I'll still be able to adjust the brakes and of course we're going to have to remove the broken off section of the threaded rod portion here uh, that's going to be a little bit of a pickle because that's the reason it snapped is this has been painted over several times i had to try to get the paint off of there it was a real pain in the butt but uh you know you win some you lose some now we're going to have to solve this problem let's get this out first and make sure the threads are okay and the little yoke and then we're going to come over here do the easy part cut that off with the cutoff wheel get our threaded rod section weld it all back in hook it back up adjust the brake We'll be rolling for the big snowstorm on Wednesday. We are set up on the Logan 922. I have put the yoke in a three jaw chuck and we have the long center drill gonna be in use here. Not ideal, but actually it's gonna work pretty good. I like to have a center drill that doesn't have a lot of overhang, but for this purpose, we needed something that would reach into there. We're getting a little bit of bounce on that center drill, but for our purposes today, I'm not too worried about it. We are all the way through. Okay, so we have a hole all the way through. It is pretty much on center, although we saw the center drill and the drill bouncing a little bit. Like I said, for what we're doing here today, not a problem. Let's see if we can get that out. Okay, those cleaned up. Let's make our rod. Now, in case you're not familiar with how these work, you see this goes through here with a little pin. There's a cotter pin that holds this in to the uh, brake arm. And you can adjust this by taking the pin out, turning th this piece here, the yoke, and then have a lock nut. You can adjust your tightness or the amount of play on there. So when you hit the pedal, And um, we're gonna replicate this on the other side, as you'll see now. Here we have our broken off section. We have threaded rod in the power wire brush yoke. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow this to have 
Actually, it'll end up having more threads than it did originally. I changed my mind about using two nuts. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use this as a sleeve that slides over the threaded rod and the original brake band rod. And what I'm gonna do is I'll slide the threaded rod in one side, we're gonna weld around that. We're gonna uh, slide the original brake band rod in the other side, and we're gonna weld around that, kind of make like a little coupling connection. Okay, so I'm going to mark this. Right about there. We're gonna cut it just on this side of the black line. We get quite a bit of play here. That's where we're gonna do it. see clearly what we're doing let's put a weld in the back of here and it doesn't matter if it looks ugly You're welding on zinc plated threaded rod to this little scrap piece this is just going to hold me over until i can get a new brake band let's go ahead and weld the back side Okay, so we are welded on both sides of those ugly little welds. But we can see now when I actuate the brake, it's moving the assembly, it's pulling on the rod. The rod is connected to the brake band back in there. And I have a pedal again. I'm going to set that lock nut tight. <clears throat> and I have a lot of travel I can go into here if I wanna tighten it up. I mean, I could move that all the way to here almost. So this is my stopgap emergency fix on the Farmall Cub brake until I can get my uh, part through the mail. This will get me through the first snowstorm. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Try to be ingenuitive like this and figure out ways to fix problems even if it's a temporary fix.